My name is Zach Vandergraaff, and I'm the preschool through fifth grade music teacher at Lake City Area Schools in Lake City, Michigan. I'm also the current president-elect of the Michigan Kodai Educators, an affiliate chapter of Oak. This video is part of Mike's Kodai in Action series. The video will focus on storytelling techniques to help you tell stories in your music classroom. There are three purposes for telling stories. First is to inform, such as when talking about a composer or the history of a piece. To reinforce, such as when talking about loud versus soft or walking versus tiptoe rhythms. And to entertain, which is pretty self-explanatory. All three have an important part in the music curriculum. The story you'll see today will be for entertainment purposes, but I do use the songs for late or middle stage practice of soul and la. Three techniques that can help all of these areas of storytelling. And the first one is varying pace and volume. Louder, softer, faster, slower. Changing it up will help keep your students engaged, but you must make specific choices. A great storyteller once said, tell a story a hundred times, and you might begin to have a clue how to tell a story. The second technique you can watch for is encouraging audience participation. Besides the two songs that repeat throughout the story, students will be asked to move, will be asked to answer questions about the story, and will be asked to engage emotionally. How would you feel if that happened to you? The last technique is to make specific movement choices. A lot of storytellers have the problem of doing too little or too much. And just like varying pace and volume, it's not about just doing it. You have to be specific. Follow the flow of the story. In this story, I'll move a little bit throughout the story, but then at one spot towards the end, I stand up. And that huge change in movement choice is enough. You can feel the students' attention on the storyteller. Sticking with these techniques will help you tell stories and keep them engaged in the music classroom. Check out the video description below for more resources and references. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, we got a story to tell today. Do you remember the story of Mr. Stingy Man? Yes. yes. Once upon a time, there was a rooster, and every day he would get up and he would fly. Can you fly with me? He would fly around the farm looking for quarters and pennies and nickels and dimes so that he could buy Tasty Treat for his friends. Tasty Treat ice cream. Yum. One day he found a big shiny silver dollar. It was a cool day. Show me how your faces would look if you found a big shiny silver dollar. Nice. I would be really happy too, and he was really happy. But you know, for every good guy in the story, there has to be a bad guy. And down the road in the big black limo car came the mean Mr. Stingy. Drive that limo with me. <laughs> Hit the brakes! <laughs> Out steps the big mean Mr. Stingy Man, and he looks at that rooster, and he was so greedy he didn't want the rooster to have any money, and so he yelled for his son tight Bob. Grab the rooster and steal the silver dollar right out of his beak. And so he took the silver dollar out of the beak, they hopped in their limo, they went back to their house that was a mansion. A mansion's like a, a house that's as big as the whole school. And in the middle of the house, they had this giant safe that was 100 feet tall and 100 feet wide and 100 feet deep, filled from the floor to the ceiling with money. So he didn't even need that silver dollar. Well, they locked it up, click, and they went to go take a nap. Back home on the farm, the rooster had some kind of feelings. Show me on your face. How would you feel if someone stole money from you? Oh, <laughs> I see some sad. Ooh, I see some really mad. I'd probably be a little sad and a little mad, too. He said, I'm not going to put up with this. So he flew, comply with me, to Mr. Stingy Man's bedroom window. And he knocked on that window, and he sang the Mr. Stingy Man song. Hey, Mr. Stingy Man, listen to me holler. cap a doodle doodle doo give me back my dollar. I want, that's good singing. Can you remember to sing with that light voice we were practicing before? <laughs> yes, we'll work on that next time. So Mr. Stingy Man woke up. <laughs> he was so mad, his, his face turned red. red. And he yelled for his son, Tight Bob. Grab the rooster and throw him in the deep, dark well. So he grabbed the rooster and splash right into the deep, dark well. He had slime in his feathers and snakes in his toes. And he was, it was kind of scary, but was the rooster afraid? No. Oh, because he was a magic rooster. And if you listen carefully, you could hear him sing his belly song. Can you sing with your light voice? One, two, ready, sing. Belly, belly, belly. 
Saka That was much better. He flew to Mr. Stingy Man's window and he knocked on it and he sang. Hey, Mr. Stingy Man, listen to me holler. Cock to doo 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 doo. Give me back my dollar. Mr. Stingy Man woke up. His face turned red. He was so mad his face turned red. He was so mad his face turned red. Purple. Purple. And he yelled for his son Typhon. Grab the rooster and take him to the basement and throw him in the fiery furnace. <gasps> there was the rooster, about to become tonight's fried chicken dinner. <gasps> but he was not afraid. Why? He was a magic rooster. He was a magic rooster, and if you listen carefully, you could hear him sing his belly song. Belly, 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 blow out all the water. Belly, 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 blow out the water. The water put the fire out. Oof. He kicked open the door. Boom! He flew to Mr. Stingy Man's bedroom window and he knocked at it and said, Hey, Mr. Stingy Man, listen to me holler. Cock a doo 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 doo. Give me back my dollar. Mr. Stingy Man woke up. <laughs> he was so mad, his face turned red. He was so mad, his face turned red. He was so mad that. And he pretend yelled for his son, Typhon. Typhon! Grab the rooster and take him out to the forest and throw him in the giant beast. <gasps> he was about to get stung by hundreds of thousands of bees, but he was not afraid because... He was a magic rooster. He was a magic rooster. And if you listen carefully, you could hear him sing his magic belly song. Belly, 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 suck up all the bees. Belly, belly, belly. Suck up all the bees. He flew to Mr. Stingy Man's bedroom window one last time. He knocked on it and he sang. Hey, Mr. Stingy Man, listen to me holler. Cock a doo 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 doo. Give me back my dollar. Mr. Stingy Man woke up. <laughs> he was so mad, his face turned. He was so mad, his face turned. <laughs> He was so mad that smoke came out of his ears, and last but not least, he was so mad that fire shot out of his nose. And it was green fire because it had boogers in it. <laughs> and he said tightwad with his teeth clenched together. <laughs> Take the rooster and set him on my chair. That way I can come with my big old tushy and <laughs> squish him. There was the rooster on the chair, about to get squished by Mr. Stingy Man, but he was not afraid. because he, he was a brave magic He was a brave magic rooster, and he sang his magic belly song sneakily with his eyebrows going up and down because he was being sneaky. Belly, 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 blow out all the bees. Belly, belly, boo, blow out all the bees. Oh, oh, oh. They started to sting him on the behind. Oh, 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 oh. He said, he said, Tightwad, do something. So Tightwad grabbed a broom and started to hit the bees, but he missed them and hit Mr. Stingy Man on the behind. Whoa-boom! 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 The bees went away, but Tightwad was having so much fun, he got them one more time. Whoa-boom! Oh, Mr. Stingy Man said, Tightwad, the bees are gone! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> oh, Mr. Stingy Man very gently sat down, and he said in his nicest voice, Type Pop, please take the rooster by the wing and take him down to the safe and give him back his silly silver dollar. Give him whatever he wants. I just need to take a nap. And so Tightwad took the rooster by the wing like they were holding hands down in the safe, and he opened it up, and he turned to him, and Tightwad said, Now, nah, Mr. Rooster, we need a nap really bad, so you take whatever you need and get out of here, go on, get it. And Tightwad left to go take a nap, too, and there was the rooster, all by himself with all of the money, and he got a sneaky look on his face. Show me your sneaky faces. Oh, we're in trouble. He looked over one shoulder. He looked over the other shoulder. And he quietly rubbed his belly and softly sang, 
Belly, 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 suck up all the money. Belly, 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 suck up all the money. He sucked up the money and he flew home and he bought Tasty Treat for his friends every day for a whole year. What? The